Trump's speech was well received by a lot of people, even a handful of Democratic commentators. One person who was far from happy, though, was attorney Eric Guster, who was enraged. He tweeted during the speech, did Hitler draft part of this speech? He also tweeted that you are the civil rights issue of our time, POTUS. Strong words. Eric Guster joins us tonight from Birmingham. So, Eric, I've known you a long time. I think you're a pretty reasonable guy, smart guy, lawyer. Yeah, I, I see what's happening to you as something that's very similar to what's happening to a lot of Democrats I know in Washington. You dislike Trump so much, his personal affect is so offensive to you, that you can't hear clearly what he says. You're possessed, and it's affecting your judgment. Uh, that is the most ridiculous thing I've heard within the last 24 hours besides some of the lines in Trump's speech. I do not totally dislike Donald Trump. What I'm disliking is his message and the things that he says about people and the hatred that he's incited in people and him not speaking out against the racial hatred that is done in his name, the attacks on Muslims, the attacks on blacks, the attacks on Jewish cemeteries that he's, he's touched on a little bit in the last few days, but not forcefully enough. So those okay, are things so, I'm totally against. So I'm, I don't even plan to address directly your tweet comparing him to Hitler because I think it's embarrassing to you. But I want to get to what you just said. No, you is, read it. You know, you read it. I know, but and I'm, I'm I was, embarrassed to bring it directly to you because I think you're above that and I think it diminishes you. But let me ask you, what you do, about what you just said. You said Trump's speech last night contained racial hatred. I watched the whole thing. I don't think anyone could agree with all of it, but where was the race hatred in it? Uh, Trump has had a message of racial hate throughout these, this campaign, throughout his presidency that's only, what, a few weeks old. But what Trump has done is he has created this racial divide between Mexicans and Americans, through, between uh, immigrants and Americans. So what he's done is created this divide, and that's what I mean in reference to the Hitler comment, in that Hitler used immigration and racism as their base, and that is what Trump has done. You know, For example, just, I'm in Alabama. So even, I, I don't even know what. No, you're, no. Hitler let me. No, let me finish. Let me finish. Let, let I mean, me finish. Mean okay. Okay. Please finish. Quickly let me finish. And get to a smart. For example, okay. he was he was in he was in Alabama, and there were rebel flags and people who were saying racial things to protesters, and that was something that incited his base. And those are things I'm speaking of in reference to Hitler. Not okay. saying he is Hitler. But he's Hitler-esque, absolutely. Okay. okay, so he was in Alabama, and there were Confederate flags around, therefore he's worthy of being compared and to Hitler. Look, so let's, no, let's just No, let's no, just no, stay, we're talking about the we racial, on, the racial we undertone stay, we that he has never addressed. So, Last no, night. No, 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 that is, that is a topic. He's had racial undertones throughout his campaign that he never addressed, not even okay. once. And that's Look, a shame on him being the leader he, of the Did you world. watch the speech last night? Because he opened up. I watched. By, he I watched he every opened bit. the speech by saying there have been incidents of racial bias and they're wrong and I disavow them? I mean, w did you miss that or do you think he's lying or what should he have done exactly? I'm trying to take you seriously. No, I, will, I, will, I, will give, I will give him a gold star and a cookie for that moment, but we have to look at a person's actions. Words are very cheap. It's very easy to say words, but it goes back to actions. What Even actions? With I'm, Jeff I'm Sessions, trying to keep myself... No, what, I'm, what are you I'm, talking I'm about? What has to he give done to as an act of racial bias? It? Please. No. Uh, for example, when we talk about uh, unfair policing in communities of color and poor communities, Jeff Sessions gave a speech within the last two days where he was saying that they're going to stop suing police departments in right. reference to these okay. things. So those are things that we're talking about. We've had a black president for the past so many eight years. Communities. For the past eight years, we've had an yeah. African-American president during the exact period where you say that racial bias in our police departments is out of control. So Donald Trump has been the president for a matter of, of, of mere months. So I would. I, I don't I mean, think look, I said that. I want to get to something specific that he said that the Democrats uh, said last night. So Trump. In no, his no, speech, no. You said that I said is out of control. I said Jeff Sessions gave a speech where he said that he would stop suing police departments. Okay. That's okay. very concerning to many right. people, including myself, as a civil rights lawyer. Right. When the yeah. when the Department of Justice is being okay. told Eric, that Eric, they're not going to sue people, sue police right. departments, and give consent decrees to tell them that they have to stop racial bias, they have to stop unfair policing, that's a problem and very concerning with a lot with a lot You've of people. You've had eight years of an Obama Justice Department, an Obama Civil Rights Division, and indeed an Obama presidency, and that bias, mm -hmm. according to you and other so-called civil rights lawyers, has flowered. And I'm merely saying, if your real concern is racial bias and not just dumb partisanship, and I'm having trouble believing that, then you would have said something about the Obama administration's failure to take that on over eight years in office. 
But let me get back to last night in a concrete no, example. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let that. I'm not going to let the comment hang. Okay. No, the Department of Justice under Obama took on several issues of racial bias. The Department of okay. Justice was extremely active in in weeding out. Uh, Police so in Baltimore and in Ferguson, where you clearly saw racial bias at work, I talked to you at the time. There I don't, I don't remember you holding the examples. president accountable for that. But again, this is one of those cul-de-sacs no, that's examples. not worth exploring. Let me ask you a very discreet question about last night. So Trump gets up there sure. and says, there are victims of crime by immigrants. And the second he says that, and there are, of course, I mean, there's really no dispute about that. Democrats in the mm -hmm. chamber, members of Congress, all but boo him. They bark at him. They express verbally their displeasure. And my question is, why? Why is it offensive to note the truth that there actually are Americans who have been harmed and killed by immigrants? Why is that bad to note? And by the way, whose side are you on if you're offended by that? No. It's not bad to note that, but we also must note the, the violence that is perpetuated by white nationalists, the violence such as the, the right. Charleston Nine, which he has not mentioned, the right. mosque that was attacked in Canada, which he has not mentioned. Mm -hmm. He has not spoken out against white supremacists who've done very similar things that he's right. trying to blame on the immigrants. Okay. Those are the real dangers but within you're, our country, you're, you're kind of the missing people who are homegrown terrorists. Why, why no, would, no, I'm why asking would your question, members but you of don't Congress, want the answers, why would Democrats, like, the Charleston Nine happened when Obama was president, like this is... I'm what losing happens? patience, but I what just happens? want to get to the. Okay. I just want to get to this one question. Why would that make Democrats mad that he said that? And they were mad. They groaned audibly. It was picked up on mics. Why would that annoy them so much that he was noting that immigrants have hurt Americans? Like, what, what's wrong with saying that? Can you answer that question? There's nothing wrong with saying that, but he he's totally ignored the things that I talked about. The white nationalists okay. and the white supremacists right. who are attacking people on a weekly right. basis. I'm out of time, Eric. He's totally ignored that. It's too frustrating. I, I to hate talk you don't want the truth, Tucker. Un, uh, unwilling to deal with reason. Thanks a lot for joining us.